How's it going guys? It's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to week two of the Pokemon Premier League Season 2. Um, we, oh, spoilers, sorry, if you haven't watched last week yet, we did manage to get the 1-0 victory over Matt and the Cotswold Whimsy Cots. We are going into week two, 1-0. and oh, I believe we are ninth out of the 18 because we did only win 1-0, um, but we're in the top half, so that's good, and we got off to a winning start, which is always welcome. Um... Talking about our opponent though, week two, we have got Alex, more affectionately known in the community as Onesie Bayner and his team, the Solihull Skarmories. Alex did lose week one, um, so he will definitely be looking for a, a win this week, so it's going to be really hard. It doesn't help the fact that me and Alex go way back, we're good friends, we always have a great laugh with each other, we support football teams in the same division here in England, um, so that's always a nice little rivalry going on there. Um, just overall he's a lovely guy and he's helped me build for week one and for some other games uh, as well so uh, yeah it's, it's just nice to be back speaking to him more than, than I have maybe over the last few years because he is, he is a great guy so doesn't mean I'm not going to try and 6-0 him though saying that we have got a gentleman's agreement not to 6-0 each other um, which I'll explain in a bit um, but yeah um, I'm very much looking forward to this game uh, so let's just go straight into the team builder Looking at the matchup here, we can see that Alex quite clearly has drafted a team orientated around Rain. Um, however, interestingly, when I looked at the two matchups, all the way up until before the battle, I didn't think Alex would bring Rain. Reason being because I felt like he couldn't afford to bring Politoed over six other Pokemon. So the things I expected to see. Uh, from Alex would be the Whimsicott, the Ogrepon, the Zapdos, the Urshifu, the Arcaludon, and the Clodsire. Those are the six that I was prepping for um, when I made the team. But Alex uh, <laughs> let slip about 10 minutes before our battle that he needed to change something last minute. And in my head I was thinking, what is he changing? What could it be? Um, because it could then affect what I've built. So I, 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 I was panicking, um, but just to go through the six that I did bring, which I feel match up the best against Alex. Um, first of all is Kyurem. If you look at his draft, he has absolutely zero resist to freeze dry. Um, Choice Scarf freeze dry could be an incredibly potent late game uh, cleanup. The only things that I can think of that he can kind of utilize for this is AV Bertic uh, or AV Arcaludon. Neither of which have reliable recovery, both of which can be chipped down by a lot of the other things that I have on my team of six, as you can see here. Um, so freeze dry is pretty much the, the move I'll click every time this thing comes in. Uh, but I have Ice Beam, Earth Power and Draco. I don't think I really need to click many of these. Earth Power does do more to Arcaludon than Ice Beam would. Uh, and obviously freeze dry. Draco is just there to hit everything hard. He doesn't have a fairy outside of Whimsicott and Whimsicott isn't really a safe switch into QRM because you are then just playing a prediction game at that point. Um, Clodsire is a huge issue for me. I was very much going to bring Regieleki um, almost throughout every draft. Uh, this is version four of my team, so uh, I actually wasn't going to. I've actually made plenty of teams uh, for this game. Regieleki was on pretty much all of them, other than this one. Um, and the only thing stopping me from bringing it for oh, like 100% was Clodsire. So Kyurem is a huge way of dealing with Clodsire here for me. Um, we've got enough speed here to outspeed. I want to say it's more Pico. Maybe not more Pico. Can't remember what it is to outspeed because I built this team last week. Um, but as you can look at his team, I don't really need a lot of speed. Um, I'm outsped by the uh, Shifu, the Zapdos, um, the Ogre Pond, the Whimsicott, the Talonflame. He's got quite a fast speed, like that high speed team. Um, but then after that, I think it might actually be to outspeed the Golduck. Um, next up in the draft, we have got Gardevoir. Um, this thing goes nuts against his team also. Uh, his Fairy switch in, or sorry, his Steel type is a Dragon, so it's weak to Fairy. And his Dark type, well, is also weak to Fairy. So um, Gardevoir is incredibly free against this entire draft. His only other fairy switchings are Clodsire and Talonflame, neither of which want to take a psychic move. <coughs> As you can hear, by the way, I'm still ill. Um, so Psychic Noise, Moonblast. Um, just strong stab. Psychic Noise is interesting because it's going to be helpful against Clodsire. Um, it stops that from recovering up. 
uh, and also it will help prevent the uh, whimsy cop if it's got leech seed talon flame with roost and ogre pond with horn leech moon blast is probably the move i'm going to be clicking most of the time uh, i've got draining kiss here obviously for recovery um because i am av and psy shock is to hit uh like a clod sire uh if it's especially defensive if it's physically defensive then psychic noise will do a lot of damage so this is another good answer for the clod sire um as you can see the evs are rather specific i need this thing for whimsicott mainly um because i don't have a lot else that i can kind of really bring for it other than the iron moth but against the rain team that's not really going to happen um i cannot remember what the evs for were for but this is possibly like one of the most intricate sets i've ever built <laughs> excuse me ever built um, as Envy would call it, it's a Chinese set. Um, but this thing's going to cause a lot of havoc. It's going to do a lot of breaking and a lot of outbulking his specially offensive ones, like the Polytoad. Uh, if it comes, like the Whimsy Cot, uh, and maybe the Spent, not, not the Basque Legion, maybe the Archiludon on a bit as well. Next up, we've got Macho Man. The yeah, Shifu, I've decided to go for Black Glasses this week because I've got the Sucker Punch. Late game Sucker Punch could be really useful uh, against things like the Ogre Pond, if that sets up, uh, against his own uh, Shifu if that thing's scarfed and I weaken it enough um, and obviously his rain sweepers so Golduck, Basky Legion, Bear Tick, Suck Punch is going to be really nice for that. He hasn't got a really good switch into Wicked Blow other than Whimsicott but even then I think if it's not max defense it takes like 50%, 40-50% to 50 from a Wicked Blow with Black Glasses. U-Turn is obviously there for momentum and close combat is just close combat. Um, he has got quite a few fighting type switch-ins, but actually also, even with Arkaludon getting stamina, close combat is going to threaten that thing out. Um, could I have swapped that for a different move, potentially? Um, but I've decided to keep close combat there, because it's probably one of the hardest things I have that can hit his own uh, Shifu, mainly. Next up, we've got Gastrodon. Um, this thing has to come. It was a real toss-up. I had it physical at one point, I had it mixed at one point, I've had it fully special defensive at one point. Um, this is my switch into Arkaludon and Zapdos. Um, I needed to be specially defensive in the end, otherwise Hurricane was too much of an issue uh, from the Zapdos. So I'm running Earth Power, Ice Beam, Recover, and Spikes. Alex's only removal options are Talonflame and uh, Morpico. Don't expect Talonflame to come, mainly because I have got Kyrem, which will hurt it. I have got Gastrodon, I've got Cleavor, and I've got Regieleki. I've also got Terrifier. Uh, Shaman, so that would do well against the Talonflame too. So I don't think that he can really afford to bring the Talonflame. Um, and I didn't really think he'll bring more Pico either, so I'm pretty sure that has a stack against his team would be pretty free. Um, and the chip on things like uh, Shifu and any Rain Sweepers and the Gold, uh, the Politoed, sorry, if I actually wants to set up Rain, will be huge. And I obviously am Storm Drain, so that's one soft check to uh, Shifu as well. If he is banded with close combat, then that will probably nearly kill Gastrodon as it is um, but I needed that special defense investment to really make sure I have something for Arcludon because Draco Meteor to this thing still does like 50% <coughs> next up we have got Brian uh, the Cleavor which you might think is a bit odd against a rain team but I am a dedicated focus sash lead which does well against everything on his draft other than obviously a Shifu because of the um the surging strikes um but as you'll see my answer for shifu is coming up next so i have got stone axe x as a close combat quick attack he doesn't really appreciate stone axe outside of arcaludon um and i have got close combat for that if i land the stone axe i get rocks up for the game i don't mind sacking this thing off and if he does go arcaludon actually yes he'll get the stamina boost but i can click close combat twice possibly kill that thing or just severely hamper it and that's his you know answer to gardevoir gone so this thing's looking pretty good as a lead i don't need speed um because i outspeed his sort of slower things by quite a lot and i am sash so the power the raw power is going to be sort of really important here um so quick attack is there just for any kind of like cleanup but also i think ogre pond um could come in on this thing and i'm expecting either the fire if he doesn't bring rain he's bringing fire ogre pond because it absolutely ruins my draft if he does bring rain he's bringing rock ogre pond so because i think the sturdy is important and it allows him to actually then do something to Kyurem, which he really struggles against. So, um, Quick Attack is there to break Sturdy, but also do Chip. Or if Cleavor is around late game, then obviously it'll be there for um, just like late game cleanup. The final Mon that I have decided to bring this week is the Shaman. It's max physical defense. Um, there was nothing else I could really bring. I actually was Terrifier on this thing until the very last minute um, because it was my one answer for the Ogre Pond. 
But when Alex then said he thought he was going to change his team up, I felt like he'd gone from no rain to rain. That was my gut instinct. So I decided to actually then change it to grass because actually Alex's team doesn't appreciate it. If he does bring Rock Ogre Pond, uh, his best answer to Shaman is probably then Whimsicott because Arcaludon won't appreciate the earth power um, and everything else is, you know, doesn't resist grass. So like Sea Flare from a grass Terra Shaman is going to do a lot of damage. I am the Utility Umbrella because that means Synthesis will do normal healing in the rain and plus I can ignore the effects from the weather, the, the water boosted attacks in the rain um, which is really nice for surging strikes in the rain because that thing is terrifying. Um, and this does also mean that I can live close combat with over half my health left uh, if he's not choice banned Urshifu. So this thing is basically my dedicated Urshifu answer but it's also going to have to be my Ogapon answer because I haven't really got an Ogapon answer on my draft. Other than that... Um, other than Corviknight, if he's not fire, but that's that's literally it. Um, so that's the six I've decided to bring for this game. Let me know what you think, obviously, before the game. But um, yeah, next up, we've got the battle. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it. And hopefully we've brought the six that will we'll do the work against Alex's team. Okay, so we're here ready to battle Alex. Onesie Bayonet, coach of the Solihull Skarmories. Um, oh, I don't know if the... Uh, is the new... Oh, we've got the loyalty music. Okay, so Alex is ready. He says, let's make it a banger. We've got a gentleman's agreement of no 6 0 each other, which is great. Um, so he's got Whimsy Cart. He's gone for the Rock Ogre Pond. Okay, and he did bring more Pico. There's no Clod Sire. That is, quite frankly, shocking. Because I didn't bring... If I'd have bought Reggie Alecki... Reggie Lucky against this team just goes nuts. Um, but I do think this isn't as bad as I first thought it might be. So he might lead Ogre. And I am Sash Thomas. This is my dedicated lead, um, as you'll have seen from the Team Builder. The only issue is if he leads Urshifu, then I'm in a bad place um, immediately. But I am Sash, he has got removal. He has got more Pico for Rapid Spin. Um, otherwise, like X Scissor, looking pretty, pretty free. Because um, Arco Ludon, as far as I'm aware, can't self heal. Um, I should probably make a note of this game. I'm feeling slightly better not seeing any Clod Sire. Um, he has no Fairy Resists whatsoever on his draft, so this is incredible. So every time, he didn't bring Zapdos either. Oh my god, he didn't bring Zapdos, which is a surprise, because that thing checks their Shifu quite nicely. Um, okay, so what did he have here? Oh, Shifu. He needs more Pico. Okay, so that's really nice for me. Um, I don't think he'll want to... What does this thing do? What does more Pico even do? Let's, I've got Shayana for the next start in the team. Uh, no, I don't want to come for, I want to add. Let's go more Pico. So you're Dark type. This thing, I don't think this thing gets anything that can just absolutely ruin my day. Um, and I believe it is a spinner. So you might not want to actually. Um, I'm going to click Stonax, turn one. Click Endeavor. So actually, that's huge. I missed the Stonax, which is nice. Um, <laughs> right, it turns Dark Typing now. So the Endeavor set, he thought I was going to be Scarfed. So actually, what I could do here is click X Scissor, because I'm slower, and then Quick Attack. Clicks the Aura Wheel. So that doesn't kill me. The speed rises. Now, he might not expect me to have Quick Attack on this thing. He might just think that he can kill me. Um, he is sashed. He changes back from hungry mode. And I'm just going to click quick attack and kill this thing. Because I have got spikes and I have got stealth rocks. Um, and so if I, he, if I do get a layer up, then this thing dies, which is good. It doesn't really do a lot for him, I don't think. Um, yeah, he dies. Okay, cool. 
So down goes more Pico turn two, three, three. So he's got a Shifu Rapid Strike, he had more Pico, uh, which went Lawn one. What else has he got? He's got Arcanudon. Uh, he's got. What have we got? Bold Pond. Okay. He does go into this thing. Do I click Quick Attack just to break the Sturdy? I think I do. Um, and then I think I go straight into. Actually, after that, because he might just—if I go straight into it, he might think I'm scarfed. I am scarfed on my. So he's got rings and cards. What else did he bring? But I can get a nice bit of chip here. I hope he doesn't click. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope he doesn't click Trailblaze. So that could be an issue. Okay, we break it. That's nice. Clips the item cudgel. He does kill. Okay. So, Cleebor goes one on one. No rocks, but we take it. Now, I don't know if he's scarfed, but he won't necessarily know what I'm going to do here. So, he might think he's scarfed. Right, I need to actually take note of what he's got now. Uh, so, he's got uh, Polytone. He's got the Ogre Pond. So this thing, I think U-turn is free. I'm gonna click U-turn. Yeah, he withdraws. He can't. He can't afford to stay in. Uh, he might get Whimsy. Okay. He is Whimsy Car, which is a free. Um, it's a free. So if I can bluff Scarf on this thing even longer. Uh, this is a free Gardevoir, because the things that the thing that I was here for was Zapdos, and Zapdos, uh, yeah. Well, I can trace this thing's prankster. He might think that that's you know intentional or something. Um, so he's got Ogre Pond, Polytoad, Whimsy Car, Up and Down, or Pico, and Urshifu, Rapid Strike. Um, he has not got a Moonblast. He hasn't got Psychic Switching either. Um. Could just click move. I'm gonna click Moonblast. I don't have to think. It's my strongest move. I could click Psychic Noise, but like Gardevoir just clicks buttons. Uh, you are not not Gardevoir. Trouble Water. So he sets up. He's Polytoad. Oh no! Wait. What does that mean? Do? Okay, that's AB. So that's not really an issue. I don't think because I have Gastrodon for that. And the chip on this thing. The bear. Um, so Gardevoir is my switch in. I have to keep it for Whimsicott because it's my Whimsicott answer at this point. So I have Gastro, he could pull the double into the Ogre Pond, which would be an issue. Uh, predicting the. Uh, what's its face? Predicting my Gastrodon switch in. I am AV, so I probably could take a hit, but I can't really afford to, I don't think. And, um, He probably knows that. Oh, I'm just hoping he's not scarfed Urshifu. Is she scarfed? Scarfed Urshifu, I think I might be able to play around it. So Gastro is not nor um, Urshifu. Um, single Strike is not nor. Um, what else have I got on my team? Q Ram. Does he pull the double? No, he puts Flash Cannon. Okay. Okay, so I can get spikes up now. Or does he go into the Ogre? Does he go Ogre here? I've forgotten what my last one is, which is bad because it's my own one. Um, Oh, Shaman, of course. So Shaman has to stay step healthy, really. Um, Ice Beam's pretty free. That'll do a lot to the Ogre Pond. Um, I, 
think I want raw damage. What can you go into? More people are dead. Um, I think that power might be the three move. Ice beam is more super, super effective. Let's click Ice Beam. He's gonna go into. He's going out into the Oak Pond. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he goes out into Oak Pond, so this Ice Beam is gonna do enough damage. Spikes would have been nice for the long run, but oh, that's, a nice, that's nice damage. Now, is he gonna is he gonna predict my switch? Excuse me. All right, let's click. Let's go into Shaman. It's max defense. It's my best answer for this. And if her Shifu isn't scarfed, then Ko, uh, if her Shifu isn't scarfed, then all I need is some chip on it, because then I think Kyurem kills. So. Uh, we'll go back into we we'll into Shaden. He might click U-turn, which would be a really good play on his part. To be fair, um, clicks Horn Leech. Okay, so he's got literally the square root of nothing to switch into the Sea Flare because this is going to be Terra Sea Flare. Um, I'm going to click it. He's got nothing for a Terra Sea Flare. Um, I was Terrifier on this to start with because I, in case he didn't bring rain and he decided to bring the fire Ogre Pond, um, but I changed my mind last minute uh, because I, the rain is good and bad, it was just such a 50-50 and I think overall the, the, the boosted seed flares, um, the boosted seed flares were like, kind of like, drew me to it and if he goes into Archaludon, I think an Earth Power may kill after a seed flare. Um, if I get the special defense drop, big it. Um, I could always stay in and click synthesis on the Archaludon to see what happens, but I have got my free, my Gastrodon every time. What's he gonna do? He could click U turn. I'm gonna Terra, because Terra, Terra, there's no reason not to Terra Grass this thing uh, at this point. Just it's gonna hurt a lot of things, and the Arcanude on getting chips just makes it even easier for uh, even easier. He puts Ivy Cudgel, so as long as Sea Flare doesn't miss, it doesn't miss. That's huge. I think Ogre Pond goes down. Yeah, Ogre Pond goes down. Okay, so Ogre dies. Shaman on its debut getting kill. That's nice. Um. He hasn't got any of his rain sweepers with him. I don't think. So he goes Urshifu. How much does it do? Shaman, Urshifu, Rapid Strike. So he has to be choice banned for this to kill. He has to be choice banned. Think. Poison Jab does 34 to 60, so I'm gonna click C Flare. U turn. I should have probably synthesis actually. That might have been a throw. Um, but we'll see. I think if I think we're both gonna try and play for that late game as Shifu. I think that's I think that's what's happening here. That'll be it. That's pretty nice. Um, I missed the C flare, that's not nice. So what could I potentially, I could potentially synthesis on our Um He might also U-turn here. He might U-turn, and I don't know if that'll kill me. I'm gonna click synthesis. This was here for the Ogre and for the uh, Shifu. Click U-turn, does it kill? Doesn't. Excellent. I didn't think it would because I didn't think he'd have attack investment. So that's huge. Um, which means I'm here for uh, Shifu. I think he really struggles to switch into this thing as well. Right, really struggles to switch into the Shaman now. It's annoying that we missed the Sea Flip. Um, but. Because Chip on this Whimsy is going to be huge. Because it's going to have Prankster Sunspore. Or something like that to, to slow me down. 
Um, use Hand Moon Blast. Stands for Leech Seed, maybe? But his team, so all he's got left, I, I just need to weaken the Archilude on a bit, and then everything is weak to freeze dry at this point. His entire draft was weak to freeze dry. So he goes into Trouble Water, so he goes into this thing, he goes into the Archilude on. I click the Synthesis, that's huge. Um, he hasn't really got anything unless he doubles into Whimsicott, but then that's a free Gardevoir for me, and he hasn't got a switch in for that. So. I think we're looking pretty good here. I think Shaman can beat the Whimsicott, because it can't Leech Seed me. So even if I just have to Earth Power it to death. Um, so we got into this Gastrodon again. He looks Draco, he misses. So that's, that's huge. Um, I think I'm going to set up Spikes. Because if he wants to Draco, then that's fine. Uh, if he goes Toad, Polytoad is a problem. Yeah, okay, he goes for Toad. So we're going to set up. He has Terra Grass potentially on this thing. It is his Terramon. So I need to keep Gastrodon safe um, for the Archimudon. So let's go into you. I'm not even thinking about it because I know for a fact you are. So you could be Terra Water Grass or Dragon. So either of those, and it doesn't matter if I trace the drizzle. He could go uh, Shifu here, which would be a problem. Okay, he doesn't. He stays in. Does this thing get flipped turn? So I trace your drizzle. Which is fine, because it rains up, so it doesn't really make a difference. So Terra's. Um, that might be Terra Grass. He might go be Terra Blast here. But, what is he? He's Grass. Yeah, it's Terra Grass. That was obvious. Okay, so he was never gonna, he was never gonna be any other. Is that? Does he click Terra Blast? He clicks Focus Blast. Okay, this guy is making all the reads. Um, I don't know what he was predicting there, to be fair. Because, well, he might have predicted uh, what's his face? Um, what hits this thing harder if he's bulky? Do have a higher special defense or physical defense? Let's go Holly Toad. Uh, that miss doesn't matter though because, okay, so you are more likely to take damage on the physical. Let's go Psy Shock. Okay, that's nice. Big chip. Clicks for high though. I am 8 beams for death. I tank that and click Draining Kiss now. I don't even have to think about it. I'm just going to click Draining Kiss. Um, he might want to preserve the rain on this thing. The Draining Kisses are nice. The on. Um, okay, the spike damage is nice. Now, how much does that do? Not a lot, but. Um, I'm pretty sure this thing is AV. This thing is 100% AV. Archaludon, AV. So, flash cannon to my guard. Doesn't even do half. Do I want to risk that? This thing's still way too important to me. So is Gastrodon. That Shifu is probably my least needed thing at this point. Uh, what's he got left? Quincy, Politoed, 
So I'll outspeed Polytoad, that's for sure. The Sucker Punch might come in handy, and I mean, I'm pretty sure Wicked Blow is now able to kill this thing. Um, and I still have close combat, and then you have, I mean, Wicked Blow still does a lot of damage to everything. Um, okay, so the Flash Cannon does well there. Does he go out into the Toad? Does he go out into... Does he go out into... Does he go into Ash Ethan? If I get chip on her Shifu, then that would be quite nice. Let's look Ice Beam. Okay, I'm faster. We can take Dragon Tail. We put Dragon Tail. Mirror Coat. Ah, oh, okay. We put the Mirror Coat. Okay. So I'm going to click Recover this time, because I think I live in Draco. Yeah, I live. Nice. Um, I don't think he can break me. I don't think he can break me. So what does he go into? Is it Whimsy Cart he goes into here? Do I get my second layer of spikes up? Because that win me the game. Could win me the game. Let's do that. Because if he scarfed her, she flew. He goes into the toad. Does the brain end? Does the rain end? The rain does end. Which means I can freely go into this thing. Um, so it was a really quick start and now it's a really slow finish. I think it might now be pick a sack game at this point. Um, I just feel like I'm going to miss a sea flare near the end and it's going to. Oh, I've set the rain up for him. I've set the rain up for him. Okay, so that was, yeah, I, I in prep I was like, don't set the rain up for him, and I set the rain up for him, but it doesn't matter, he took Terra Blast, so that's um, and that did nothing. So I could click Moonblast here, or Draining Kiss, yeah, I click Draining Kiss, you know. So I think that there's no drawbacks to me clicking this. There's no drawbacks to me clicking this whatsoever. This Gardevoir is a nuisance to his team, man. I knew in prep that it was because there's only Dark type, there's more Pico, and that died turn three. So that Draining Kiss, does he hit the Hydro? Moonblast would kill. Um, hits the Hydro. Moonblast would kill. Um, what Draining Kiss did last turn, but I'm gonna click. Mm, I'm gonna click the Moon Blast here. You can't afford to swap. Yeah, you can't afford to swap. Um, so Moon Blast does kill the pot. Uh, I'm going to fall against a K. Okay, okay so we'll five free up. He goes to the bear. The bear clicks. Uh, well, I go Shaman. Sh I, I just have to sack Shaman off. Because if he's scarfed and he locks himself into the. Um, what's it called? Um, water move. Then, if he clicks Trailblaze, then we might be in a predicament. <sighs> if he has Trailblaze, then we might be in a predicament. But, we go Shaman. Shaman's my answer. Uh, let's use her. I don't know. Okay, so he clicks u turn. Does Whimsy Cop? Whimsicott's U-turn won't kill me. I think we know that. So he goes Whimsicott. I think after another layer of spikes. Okay. Do I click Healing Wish? And go Gardevoir. I'm going to click Synthesis. 
Fits me blast. Does it kill? It KOs. That was to be expected though. Um right, so what does he do now if I go into my God what? Not a lot. Rain's gone. God, what is my answer to this? It's my one and like only answer. Um, I trace the prankster again. This thing is way too good for him, but I don't he can't switch it out. He can't switch it out, can he? I don't think he can. I'll just get the moon blast. Does this thing have a higher physical defense or a special defense? Uh, let's go into uh, Whimsy Cut. Got a higher physical defense, so we go Moon Blast here. Something dies. Possibly the Ashifu. He's going to sack our Kalud on here. It has to be. Sacks the Arkaloon on. I should have drained and kissed, really. But I think this is fine. Because he has to click a move. Mm. It's not fine, is it? It's not fine at all. Uh... This is going to come down to the wire. This is going to come down to the wire. I should have clicked Drain and Kiss there. There was no reason not to. Um, Guard Wire is 2 0. And that is the Arkaloon that is now gone. But it's back into this. That is surprising. I don't think you can kill me through AB. You turn won't kill. I think that was a throw. I think Alex might might have just thrown. Queen last. AB helps me survive. I put the drain on this. Doesn't kill. <laughs> but it'll give me plenty enough help. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, I think I think that's game. I think that's game. Because he has to lock himself, if he locks himself into close combat, uh, we just play the sack game, <laughs> I think. Uh, but I have Sucker Punch for Shifu. He hits my glass, he could crit me. Okay, he doesn't. So, Gardevoir is going on an absolute tear uh, in this game. That's 3 0. That's the Whimsy Cop dead. Uh, and then, so what does that leave? That leaves the Ashifu. What's dead on my side? Cleavor and. Oh, Ashifu killed my. No, what killed my Shane? That thing did. And Ashifu didn't. So we hurt by the spikes. I think I just clicked the blast, there's no reason not to. Fix, yeah, click CC. So I think I have to sack off Gastrodon. I don't know if that means... Hang on. Let's go to Urshifu. Rapid Strike. If you're, you're not banded, so do you kill Kyurem with close combat? Yeah, you do. Oh no, that's if you're adamant. If you're jolly, still kills me. Okay. Um, let's go Gastrodon. How much does this do for Gastrodon? I think it kills me. This is going to be so close. Close combat kills me. Oh god. <clears throat> I think I lose. Because if he's scarfed, it kills. Close combat kills. Um, minus, minus three in defense. Sucker punch. I think it's short. I think sucker punch is short. He is scarfed. I think we lose. I think we lose to Alex. The, the clutch scarfed uh, Shifu at the end. If I was Rocky Helmet on anything, anything, then I think 
it would have been mine. I had to go for the Sucker Punch crit. That's all I have left is the Sucker Punch crit. Oh, come on. Crit. Oh, no crit. Okay. GG Alex, that's literally as close as he could have got. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he crits me at the end. Um, that was, yeah, I thought I was in such a commanding position and then, you know, as Shifu things happen. I knew Ashifu coming into this game was going to be a huge problem, but um, I imagine Alex was going through that game thinking he'd lost, and I thought I'd won, but it was scarfed the whole time. All I needed was that little bit more chip, that little bit more chip on it, and I would have killed. So that Seed Flare miss on the Whimsicott was probably quite important, because it means I might not have been as weak on my guard war. Um... So yeah, that's a real bummer. Um, but it's a good game. I can't really complain there, to be honest, that we lost that because it, like, all he needed was one more layer of spikes or something like that to to win, and it it didn't happen. I got that I lost that game because I wasn't very confident going into that, and I thought I had it. Um, but hey ho, um, I think I probably lost my shaman too easily there, and I needed that at the end to stop uh, Shifu from winning. I should have just clicked synthesis. Hindsight 2020 is a magical thing, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy that game. I'm a bit bummed that I lost because it was so close, but it was a good game nevertheless. So um, yeah, make sure you do uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe to myself and obviously Alex uh, as well. Um, make sure you leave a comment on how you thought the game went, if there's anything better I could have done. Um, I don't know if there really was, because I thought I was in a quite commanding position there. But, you know, after all that... Dino Dave didn't even get to do anything and I thought he was going to be the MVP of this game. So thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope you did enjoy that game and I'll see you for week three next week against Lars. Take care.